So you know on this channel, we like to talk about cases that's at all price points, all right? And sometimes you get a crazy case like the Speaking Enzo that's gonna run you 150 bucks, all right? Now most of you can't even fathom spending over $100 when it comes to a case, but say you take that Speaking Enzo, sitting at $150, and then you add 100 more dollars on top of that, this is what you get, all right? Yes, this case, the Element Black Ops case for the iPhone 14 Pro Max, is gonna set you back $250. Now I know you're like, T, just what in the hell entails a $250 case? We're gonna get into it, we're gonna take our time with it. Video might be a little long, but I got a lot to talk about when it comes to this Element Black Ops case for 250 bucks. Now, who is the insane person that's gonna go out there and buy this case for 250 bucks? That insane person is me. Element didn't send this to me at all. I went over to Amazon, clicked the purchase button, and spent my own 250 idiotic American dollars on this case just so I can show you what a $250 case works out. What does it do, all right? 250 American dollars. There's no currency exchange when it comes to this bad boy. So let's go ahead and check it out. Element case, Black Ops. Now, I've known about this case for a little bit of time. Shout out to my dude, Passive A part of Discord gang, part of members on the channel. If you want to do either one of those, the links will be down below. He was like, T, you got to go ahead. And we were talking to Discord and he's like, yo, T, you got to go pick this up. I've tried to get you to get it for the 13, but now the 14 is here. You need to check it out. So I'm checking it out. All right. So ultimate armor technology, mobile defense unit. This thing is tactical field rated. Look, this is the ultimate level of protection when we're talking about it, man. 250 bucks. The case, the packages and the unit, the case is an absolute unit. And let's go ahead and jump into it. Now, let's read off some of the, the specs that's going on in the back of it because this case does have a lot going on for it, all right? Aggressively rugged, military-grade protection, all right? This is a rugged-style case. This is for people who just live that tactical, rugged type of insane lifestyle. Could be you out there, all right? We got a drop shock body, fast tap buttons, which are CNC machined aluminum buttons. CNC machined aluminum, when we're talking about the frame and the, what the case is actually made of. You have G10 glass composite, which is CNC machine military grade glass composite used to create parts that resist twisting and bending. So I guess that means that this case is gonna be very rigid, all right? So if you tighten the case, bend it and twist it, you ain't gonna have any of that going on with this. SS, SLS screw locking system. This case does have screws, so it has to be screwed into place. Military grade drop protection, removable wallet, which holds up the three cards. So it does have a wallet that's built into the case that you can take off, all right? Holds three cards. Mechanical steel kickstand. MagSafe wireless charging compatible. Now I'm gonna leave a big asterisk next to that mag safe because I have a huge issue, a huge issue with MagSafe in this $250 case. Interchangeable camera plate because this case is going to be compatible with both the iPhone 14 Plus and the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So I think that's enough rambling alone. I kind of almost need to get some water before we jump into this, but let's just dive straight into it because it's going to be a lot of talking when it comes to this case. Now, open it up. You do have a, 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 a case experience when you're talking about opening it up. You're going to be greeted with the case. And right here, it's going to say Black Ops. You got military drop protection, removable car, wallet, mag, safe charger, mechanical steel kickstand. A lot of the same accolades that we already read off when it comes to the bottom of it. Let's take it out of the packaging here. And we get another little doodad right here, all right? So let's go ahead and close the packaging. Very nice packaging, and I would expect so for 250 bucks. Let me not throw it too hard. The case may knock my damn camera over. So let's see what this actual case has going on for itself. So let's go ahead and pop off some of the goodies. So here are going to be a few things that you're going to get when you are taking the case out of the packaging. You're going to get your instructions right here, okay? Let's go ahead and take the instructions out. And this right here is gonna be the interchangeable plate that's gonna allow you to be, for this case, to be compatible both with the iPhone 14 Plus and the 14 Pro Max right now. I don't have the Plus really available, but if you did have the Plus, you can just, there's four screws, screw this right out, slide it in, screw it back together, and you are good to go. So, has a nice little strap. Love to see that it is interchangeable. You get an alcohol pad, and you also get a little protective little film that's going to protect the area where the kickstand is and where your wallet is. I'll kind of show you where that goes, but I, we, I don't think we need to really install this to get the gist of the entire case, all right? And this little packaging right here, let's get this open. 
This is going to be your, your screwdriver. Like I said, this case does use screws to unlock, to, to basically get it out. These are going to be extra screws, which they give you four. Now, there are three in the pack because Element, let me tell you a little bit of something about yourself. I went there and spent $250 on this Amazon, on this case right here, and it was missing a screw. Now, I know that screw was probably 10 bucks fixated into the price, but it kind of sucked that I spent all this money on this case and it came with a screw missing. So if you're looking, if you go out there and you buy this case, make sure you count the screws and make sure you got one and make sure you got it all together, all right? So that's gonna be here. And here is the construction of the case and what this case has going on. So first things first, we have the kickstand. So here's gonna be a very strong, very sturdy kickstand that's gonna prop up. That's gonna be very proper, all right? This is gonna be a very sturdy kickstand. But taking that kickstand out, you basically wanna slide this out and here is gonna be your wallet, all right? Remember you said they had a removable wallet? This is basically gonna be the wallet that pops off. As you see, it says element case here. Has like a little, a little lever right here that's gonna lock and unlock it into the actual case right here. So we're gonna set that to the side. And this kickstand, all right? The kickstand is kinda, it's a big boy, it's sturdy, but it's gonna be able to, to hold your phone any way that you need to hold it, whether it's landscape, whether it's portrait, this kickstand should hold you down just fine. Now, on this next part, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick time lapse because I need to take out six screws and I'm not about to sit here and take these six screws off running my trap right here on the camera. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna fast forward this. We're gonna go ahead and unscrew all these six screws, slide the iPhone in here, and then you can see what this $250 monstrosity looks like. All right, so we got all of the screws uninstalled, as you can see right here. And these are gonna be very small screws. It has a little link to them, so that's the screw that we're talking about. And this has six of these bad boys all the way around, all right? You got one, two, three, four, and you got five, six, where all of the screws go. And basically, this is how the case comes apart. So it's basically gonna slide apart just like that. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side once you kind of get it to slide and it slides out just like this. Now this right here is the area where your phone actually goes into. And just like I stated to you earlier, you're gonna have one, two screws right here since we already took these out. You unscrew these two screws and that's when you'll be able to interchange this and you can pop the 14 plus play up here if you do run the 14 plus. But like I said, we don't really have to say any of that. We're gonna leave those two screws right there. So when it comes to the case, you're gonna get a little bit of Black Ops branding right here. When it comes to that camera area, you see those CNC aluminum buttons. So you're gonna have red buttons buttons here for the volume up and down, and you're gonna get a cutout for your mute toggle. And basically you can kinda see the inner workings of the actual phone case itself. So let's go ahead and install this bad boy back together, all right? So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your phone in here like so, all right? And now you're gonna slide the corners in, and this is where you're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to fast time lapse again, all right? Let's kinda slide these corners in there. So that's one side slid in. Grab the other area here, and you basically want to get them lined up and slide these in. So the initial part of the case is slid in. As you can see here, this is how it looks with that wallet area removed. So what I'm gonna do it again, take a screenshots again, is I wanna fast forward again, and then we're gonna screw all six screws back in there, and then we can go ahead and begin talking about the case. All right, so here we go, all right? Everything is screwed in now. Now the case is fully installed. As you see, the sides aren't coming off or anything like that is budging. So let's go ahead and put everything back in here. Let's go ahead and slide the wallet back on. And the way you gotta slide the wallet on, you gotta lift the kickstand up, and then you're basically just gonna simply slide the wallet back in here, and you're gonna go ahead and lock it back into place. Well, I thought that was a lock, but... This doesn't lock it in place either way. So I'm not, anyway, that's what we're gonna do, all right? So let's go ahead and take a look at the case. Third, tw uh, 10 minutes or so in the video, we're just now getting to the case. That's how much it takes to install a $250 case. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So 
big boy, big beefy boy right here. So this is basically how it's going to look on that side. So let's go ahead and step through it. Let's see what we have going on. So on that top side, you're going to get your element case branding here. Nothing on the top side, of course, nothing on that top side. Going over to your right side, as you can see right here, you're going to get a nice area for that power button. Power button seems to work just fine, you know, no issues with that power button clicking. CNC power button right there going on the sides. You're going to get an aggressive hold when you are talking about the sides, all right? That is a very aggressive, very aggressive. We talk about cases has no grip, but guess what? 250 bucks yields you a lot of grip and a lot of uncomfortable grip, all right? Because this thing does dig in your hands a little bit when you were talking about holding it, but that's what you're talking about when you're talking like a, a tactical case like this case is right here. Over on that left side, you're going to get a generous area for your mute toggle switch. You can get in there pretty easy. You don't have to fight it. Volume up and down. These little dots, as you can see right here, work perfectly fine. You get that same aggressive level of grip on that side here. Flipping it over on the bottom, you see you do get your speaker cutouts here. So the speaker cutouts are deeply recessed in there, and you're going to get that lightning cable port right here. Flipping it over on the back, all right, you're going to get a deep channel, all right? You're going to get a definitely of a deep groove for your camera area, so you do not have to worry about your camera definitely being damaged because, first of all, it's not even going to rest no Nowhere near your camera, especially if you're using this with the included wallet on the back of it. So you're definitely good to go, but you see your cameras are cut out short, but everything is protected, no interfering when it comes to that camera. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the lay on the table protection because we know this is a $250 case. Let's see what that lay on the table protection is looking like. And even with that, it works just fine with the tempered glass. I'm running a tempered, speaking tempered glass screen protector, and it's working just fine. It doesn't interfere with it, so that's good to see that it still can slide up here, have a, such a tight fit, and it not interfere with the tempered glass screen protector that goes all the way around it. So good plush right there. And even with that, taking a look at that lip that goes all the way around it, it does have a nice lip on the inside, all right? Definitely, definitely gives you a nice lip that goes all the way around. So if you had to drop this bad boy, you shouldn't even be even thinking about should you or what if, if you drop this. Putting it on face down, you're definitely good to go. And I feel like even if you drop this, you will definitely be fine, all right? Yeah, it, it, a, case, a case like this, you would think may have a little bit more of a beefier screen protection, but it doesn't, all right? That's what you're working with. It does have a nice little channel that goes all the way around it when you're talking about the lip. So that should be enough, and you should be good to go. Now, how does this case actually fit on this phone with the screw system? Does it truly lock this case down? And it does, all right? I mean, when you're talking about pulling it, there is no pull at all. You're going to get a little pull up here in this area, right where the aluminum sides kind of meet together, but this is aluminum, you're not pulling this. So this is a very, very sturdy case. Even when you're talking about shaking a case like this, because sometimes you can shake certain cases like this, you can kind of feel the foam kind of wiggling and moving around. You don't really feel anything when you're trying to move it around. That's nothing but this wallet right here popping off. So it's very good. It's a very snug fit. It's in there. It's secure with that locking system when it comes to all of those six screws. So definitely has a confident fit with that matter there. Now, I just stated that the screen protector doesn't push up. It was just pushing up a little bit on that corner. Maybe when I push this corner in, it kind of starts to rise up right here. So something I noticed, I you know, put it down and I don't, I don't really see it kind of pushing up without me really forcing it or trying to make it come up. Now, when it comes to how does this feel in your hand, this thing feels like like I said earlier, a tactical unit in your hand, all right? This thing is absolutely insane. It feels like you have a big bulky case on your phone. And guess what? You do have a damn big bulky case on your phone. That's just what it is when it comes to this. It does have a lot of grip. Yes, it's a little bit uncomfortable to hold because it's hard. These edges right here aren't particularly that dull. These are some sharp edges, all right? So when you hold it in your hand, you're going to feel this case in your hand. That's just what it is when it comes to something like this right here. But that's what you get when you're talking about a case this expensive, man. So let's go ahead and take this off before we kind of get with messing with the kickstand and the mag safe and everything like this. It say it does hold three cards. Now I do have three little faux cards right here. So let's go ahead and throw the three cards in here and it works just fine with the three cards. Now, how are you supposed to get them out? 
Mm, oh, that's how you get them out. Okay, that's what the little slide is for. So when your cards are recessed in there, it's gonna put that down. When you wanna get to your cards, you pop this out. Boom, get to your cards. Well, we're gonna leave them in there for the rest of the review, but little three wallet, little three card wallet, if that's what you wanna use, you can use this case. You don't have to use a wallet. If you keep it things very minimal without having a bunch of cards on you, then you may can get away with having this built in onto the case. Just a little added benefit on it, all right? And then actually, when you're talking about the kickstand itself, it doesn't do much with a kickstand when you're talking about landscape because it's kind of straight up and down. It doesn't give you like a, a good viewing angle. When you watch this, I would love to see this give you a different angle. I mean, you can kind of watch content like this, but you kind of have to kind of be straight up because it's almost like a 90 degrees that this, it's not completely 90, but it's almost 90 to where you really don't have a good viewing angle. But it's probably mainly used for portrait style when you're talking about popping it up. I'm pretty sure that's what this is going to be used for. So when it comes to the portrait style, it is going to be a very sturdy kickstand. It has a very nice friction to it. So this doesn't feel cheap. It doesn't feel anything. This is going to be a very, very stay. And I think I said it's a steel kickstand. And it's definitely cold to the touch. Yeah, definitely right here when you're talking about that. And it feels good. You know what I mean? It's, it's a sturdy kickstand. And then when you add all this together, that's basically what you're looking at when it comes to a case. Now, here's my beef. Remember when I told you about MagSafe? Here is the thing that I don't like about MagSafe. Now, as you can see, my MagSafe, my MagSafe is out of my normal Mag Nomad puck that it's on, the base mount, because it doesn't work with that. This thing hardly works with any MagSafe accessories because of where the MagSafe is located. And you see, with a lot of this case that has going on, yes, it works with MagSafe charger, but it works only if you have you know, this the, the the OG Apple Puck. Not sure how many of you people use this out here, but with so many different chargers doing MagSafe the correct way on mounts, on chargers, two-in-ones, three-in-ones. Yeah, it works for MagSafe charging, but you're gonna have to, of course, if you wanna wag, you gotta pull your wallet off. You gotta do different stands like that. You could take it off and you could charge your phone at the same time via MagSafe if that's what you wanted to do. You do have the ability to do so, but my, my, my beef isn't that it doesn't work with a bunch of MagSafe mounts and different things like that. I wouldn't expect it to with the construction of this case. But if you're going to make a case this expensive, this magnitude of case, you need to have this work with at least the Apple accessories. You would think it would be cut to work with the Apple accessories, but guess what? It's not. This thing is cut just ever so short all right, even if it's not the, look, it's cut ever so short to where even your OEM Apple products doesn't even work when we are talking about fitting on it. Even when you're talking about the wallet, your wallet doesn't even work. Say you don't even want this and you want to just have this on and pop a wallet and maybe you can get a small wallet in there and you're good to go. You can't even do that with this case. That is such a letdown. So it's forcing you to either plug it in or use just your MagSafe puck, or you have to run this wallet that they have that's built into it, and it's just gonna make things a little bit more thicker on the grand overall scheme of what's going on with this case. So I think it could have been thought out a little bit better. It's cut ever so slightly that I feel like you can have this same design and kinda, I'm not about to go digging for it because it doesn't work anyway, but you don't, you're just missing just a little bit and you're telling me you couldn't engineer it just so it can work with the OEM Apple accessories. That's a huge, huge miss in my opinion when it comes to this case. So that's going to be the element case. I mean, I don't know really much what else to say about it. This thing is just thick. It's a lot going on when it comes to this case. 250 bucks. You're going to have the built-in car wallet. You can pop this off. If you don't want to run the wallet, you can run it just open back i guess now remember it did come with a little screen little protector that just goes right here i guess you can put i don't know i guess that protects the phone a little bit i'm not i'm not 100 sure what that matters when it comes to this but yeah this is going to be it this is going to be the element black ops case for the iphone 14 pro now should you buy this 250 dollars case look hell no <laughs> there's so many more there's so many other cases out there to give you a high level of protection that doesn't cost near the price tag this right here is just excessive case 
This is just peak excessive case when it comes to anything right here. But if you got 250 bucks burning in your wallet, if it's just burning a hole in your wallet, you want to try something a little crazy and freaky when it comes to accessories, then you go out there and pick yourself up the Element Black Ops case for the iPhone 14 Pro Max. It feels like it's something that's built to last. I feel like this case will last. I don't really feel like there's no cheap parts. I would probably have liked to see the magnet. You know, this kind of be a little bit more sturdy in there, but everything feels sturdy. Nothing feels cheap. You know, that's the good thing about it. Really, nothing gives me a cheap feeling when it comes to this case. The buttons, nothing really rattles or wiggles or does anything too crazy everything feels solid so if you want to check it out man be my guest the link will be down in the description where you can go out there and grab yourself up this 256 dollar 250 dollar case if you got it already if you tried it out let me know in the comment section down below man but if you're looking for a rugged case i'm telling you there are other cases that you can go out there and get without spending so much money so if you need that rugged level of protection i'll be sure to pop that video right here where you can go out there and check the best rugged cases for the 14 pro max